Good evening, friends. Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live, and we do have a flurry, flurry, flurry of uh, issues going on with the Earth's crust, and not just here in the United States. Uh, I want to do thank uh, John Brown. He originally sent this to me about Dutch Sense. Uh, I know he watches this man quite a bit, and uh, this guy is definitely on top of his game about what's going on. The hot spots that he found. I watched the video a couple of days ago uh, as I was making some rounds there. And, you know, it, it was catching my attention. Why is the earth heating up and stuff, right? This is actually the video that I saw there on October the 7th uh, that Dutch Sense had put out there. And... He goes in quite lengthy there about the uh, the earthquakes, things are, are, are the excuse me, the heating up of the earth, things like that that are happening, and uh, and without even going into the details about what he says on here, and I'm going to kind of let me see, I want to kind of get into one spot here with you on this. Um, let me find it here. I think this is it right here. Yeah, he, let me just play just a little clip of what he says here, and then. I'm being contacted by people high up in government circles there, two of them from the Pentagon, as well as from uh, the FEMA engineer, uh, the, the friend of mine, I know him, and the information that is being passed down to him. Uh, and I got another message only moments ago as I was preparing this broadcast about the shifting of the crust of the earth. And of course, I put out another request trying to find out what do they think is causing this. Uh, but I brought up Dutch Sense here, his video. I want to play a little clip of what he says here because I know world governments are very concerned because this is going global. Uh, it's not just the United States, it is a global shift. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about the places I'm being told. But uh, the female engineer, he let me know today I'd gotten a message from him. Actually, let's see, yesterday uh, he says, Hello, Steve, I'm so sorry it's taken so long to get back with you. I had one assignment after the other. To answer your questions about the crust movement, yes, I have been told that the New Madrid fault line has become very active. Uh, they're extremely concerned and they believe it can go any day now as well as the Cascadia fault line didn't get much information in terms of what is causing the New Madrid is certainly starting to raise a lot of eyebrows uh, and that was kind of where the uh, the, the the text message end there uh, with him now but my Pentagon source independently had already uh, reached out to me about this. So let me just first play this clip here uh, from Dutch Sense, what he says, so you can kind of get the picture where we're going on this. For Island and the whole state of Washington going right down to the border of Oregon. Hundreds and hundreds of tremors going from the Olympic Peninsula down across the Puget Sound, down south of Tacoma, and all of these little vibrations, they do have magnitudes assigned to them. And look at the magnitudes. They're in the mid-range ones. In the right side of your screen, he's going we have down. One, 2.4. It's not just small movement, it's not just zeros. It's ones and twos now. So while they do have magnitudes assigned to this, this is more like vibrating as the plate is shifting, and this is major vibration as the plate is majorly shifting compared to where we were. Let's go back a day. 190, and the spots that were shifting were in Oregon. And Washington. Now it's Vancouver and Washington. But it all hinges on this. This is the Juan de Fuca fracture zone out to the west, which we can see on the USGS plate boundary map here. The jagged edges, actually these jagged edges belong to the Pacific plate, the greater Pacific plate here. And so right. there, Let me see jagged edges move forward just a little the here with it. And then they point in like arrows, actions coming in from down below and going up into the plate. This is shifting. This is going on right now. This is yesterday. I don't know what today is going to be on this chart, but uh, 500 a little bit more. And we're swarming out and we're getting hot spots breaking out along those areas where fires are taking place along those areas and heat is being released. That's what's going on. Nobody now, can tell me 
when Dutch sends here, when he speaks about the, the, the hot spots, when I was watching his video, I was uh, just the other day, it's very interesting because he literally caught it while it was happening, while he was actually monitoring this. You could see the ground, the hot spot heat up almost to a thousand degrees. Uh, I can't fathom that. I, I just can't. I can't fathom that at all. But this is what uh, he was doing. Now, to, to just moments ago, all right, let, let me let me kind of update you on some more. This is from my FEMA source. And, and by the way, we're going to be going later. Uh, some of these uh, right-wingers there, they've got themselves another rising star. His name is Dana. I won't go into it too much about this guy here. But uh, be wary. you got to watch these people that start doing all these prophecies here. A lot of time they're inside government sources and they're getting this information and they're making them look like they have prophetic insight. They're only being told what's going to happen as they prepare these things. So no, these people are not prophets. They don't have gifts of prophecy. They just get information kind of like I do. The only difference is I'm honest about it, whereas there is a mission for these types of people. Not going to go into any more information about that. Just letting you know, be advised, be warned. Uh, Anyway, found out more information on the hotspots. The New Madrid has several hotspots along the southeast Missouri and Arkansas line. Apparently, this activity has caused severe alarm. The movement is unprecedented, and they've never seen anything like it before. Now, by the way, this all got started because uh, Adam with Marfugal News there, he had posted on his Twitter page there that there were troops being moved out west, and uh, he didn't want to report it until he could get some clarification on it. So I sent a message there to some friends there in the Pentagon, found out that yes, it was true, but it has to do with this seismic activity. Now, at first I thought this was meaning, oh, well, well, maybe that was just code phrases. You know, sometimes these guys talk to you code phrase, you know, something's going to be going on, but it's really not an earthquake. It's something different altogether. But no, it actually is dealing, uh, and by the way, oh, there, I just saw his map there. This is that map he did on the heating of the earth there. Uh, so maybe it'll show up there while we're just kind of hovering over it there. There it is, right there. Look at there. See that right there in the middle there? We're right there on the Missouri-Tennessee border there. Uh, actually, Missouri, and I think that is Mississippi border. There it is. There it is. It darkens up right in there, the ground. That is where the ground was heating up. Amazing work this guy has done. Really amazing. I'm very appreciative of his work. Uh, but anyway, moving on, though, uh, the, the troops are being repositioned because, uh, as I was told, there is a greater than 70% chance of a major, major earthquake. Uh, and But, of course, that was to the West Coast. No, why not the New Madrid area? I don't know the answers as to why they're moving the people where they're moving them. All I know is that this is what they're doing. All right. It's, it says also, it's also almost as if they are working in unison. As the slip continues in the Cascadia, there's more seismic, seismic, seismic activity on the New Madrid. Now, to my FEMA source, if you happen to be listening uh, to the broadcast yourself tonight, that is true. They do. They are working in unison. I did find out that from Pentagon sources there that uh, that is something that is it's all connected together. Now, I got also uh, this. Nope, not that one. Sorry. Um, wow, I do not have it up. Anyway, I just have to tell you from memory then. Uh, I was told there's a lot of rumbling going on. And that, uh, and you can probably see that on the top left side of the screen there, rumbling in Stephen. A lot of rumbling is going on, and that what was happening is that everything is coming alive. We are seeing shift movement, cross movement, even with, uh, I was told, the Philippines, Indonesia, Japan, uh, of course, the Cascadia. And I was told, of course, already that the Cascadia is what's affecting the New Madrid fault line. Now, as a result, the information that was being shared with me is that that New Madrid fault line uh, or and the seismic activity on the West Coast, because everything is shifting at one time, 
they don't expect a greater earthquake being placed in one area, but it'll be many earthquakes that will kind of dis, uh, dissipate some of that size of what the earthquake is that they're anticipating. But keep in mind, I don't have any idea how strong that could be. That I mean, what if it's what if that dissipating ends up still being like 8.5 or 8.0 or even a 9 point something, whereas if it was just all in one area, it could be even a 10 or, or some other kind of record-breaking type of earthquake. I have no idea. I know there's a lot of people concerned because John Moore, the map he's always shown us of what's going to happen. I think that's still uh, premature. Uh, some of the things that I've been told, that is coming. Uh, I, I hate to tell you that it's coming, but we're still a couple of years out before that event takes place. Uh, I do know the governments, at least the U.S. government, there is major issues going on. They're all on there. A lot of these guys are being put on standby. Uh, you know, the resources uh, in the Pentagon are running thin because of all the issues that are going on around the world there. So, you know, I apologize. I don't know all the answers there, but uh, uh, we're going to try to keep up with this for you the best we can. Listen, those of you that want to continue on watching this broadcast, uh, you'll probably catch the rest of this either on Patreon or one of our other channels there. Uh, 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 let's see, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm just trying to think real quick. Brand new tube, Israeli News Live. We should be able to air over there as well. Uh, but there are some things that I'm not going to play the rest of here on Israeli News Live because I am going to go into some subjects here that uh, would be very, very risky for me on INL. So we appreciate you watching here. Be sure to subscribe to these other channels. And, you know, and, and look, I'm not trying to get you to go to Patreon. Go to brand new tube if you want. Uh, you can sign up with iConnectFX.com. Uh, we, we load there as well. I'll probably have more teachings though on that side there than I do my news, but I do put news there as well. So it can be there too. But uh, either brand new tube or Israeli News Live, and you got to go to the link in the, in the description because believe me, people are always pirating our videos. They post them even on brand new tube. Um, and unfortunately, people don't go and find us when you type in Israeli News Live. You go to somebody else's channel. It's not ours. So take and click on the link. It'll take you there and subscribe to the right channel. Patreon as well, Israeli News Live. Uh, if you want to help support the broadcast, we appreciate it. Jump on there. I'm going to continue on the rest of you guys. Let's go to the next page here, what we're going to be looking at.